So in the last video, we did implement the login page and uh, we have this welcome back admin thingy right here. So we'll have to adjust a few things. So the first thing that comes up to mind is that I would like to be able to log out easily straight up from here. Also, if I go on the login page and I'm already logged in, it's pointless to show the login page once again. So we will focus on this couple of things right now and go from there. On stat overflow, I found this couple of functions, set cookie and delete cookie, that I am going to borrow and paste those in my script JS. The set cookie file we can use as uh, in the login page where we did this manually like so we can actually uh, change this calling set cookie name and value and mm, make this uh, a little cleaner on the eyes so as you can see the syntax is pretty much the same that we used on the login page so um, this one is going to be replaced by uh, the function set cookie and going to pass the name which is going to be access token and the value that's going to be response data access token. There we go, save this up and remove this. Uh, and this should be an equivalent cookie, but we made use of this first function. The second function that I wanted to use is the delete cookie function. And um, if the we have uh, an old access token that is not uh, valid anymore, we'll have to delete this. And we can do this easily now with the delete cookie function and calling this an access token. Save this up and refresh the server. Let's see what happens. Just restart the server. I'm going to go on home. Uh, as you can see, I do not have the welcome back thing right here. If I inspect my console, I have a fail to load resource. The server responded with status uh, 401. And this is due to the fact that we are having still this invalid access token with the old token, but that it deleted. So just ask document cookie. And as you can see, I have this one, GS scroll pass, uh, that, which I did not set, but we do not have the access token one. Let's see if log it, logging in will set up our cookie correctly. And if we question the document cookie again, we do have this access token. So to solve the console thing, we can add a return right here. So doing that should stop the website from giving us the 401 uh, error log message. So refresh this, just go straight ahead. And actually, we still have it. Anyway, since the uh, console message is not, shouldn't happen unless we restart a server. So it's uh, not going to happen when we launch the blog live or it shouldn't happen. We will just keep it there. It's not giving too much of a hassle right now. So uh, we have this delete cookie function that we have been using and it's correctly deleting the cookie. We can use this also to log out. So go on the nav HTML and uh, we all have this logged in message and we should be able to provide a log out link if the user is actually logged in. So a very first thing that comes to mind, which is not the cleanest way probably, but it work, it should work just fine. Go on the script JS and then logged in message, we have this welcome back response data, right? 
but we can actually do more. What we can do is attach a URL uh, that is going to execute a function and this function it's gonna be the logout function that I've created a few time uh, some time ago and it's uh, in the blog controller I think or in the user one there you go and it's logout so this uh, is an ad that I made to the OAuth project that you have, uh, you can uh, access on my GitHub. And basically, we are removing the access token um, to from the uh, passing the access token itself. So we are removing the access token from the token store, and the access token is being passed from um, from the the request uh, that the user is making. So what we want to do once again is go on the nav HTML, attach this logout link. Uh, somehow and this logout link is gonna send the get request or post request um, to the logout endpoint which is uh, right here so it's a get request it, we're gonna send this, this uh, request to the logout endpoint and it's gonna log out if the user is actually logged in so going back on the script JS, what we're gonna do is actually extend this data with a variable which is is logged in, and we're gonna set this to false, right? So that um, we can actually remove this from here and reference the is logged in variable uh, from. Um, actually, I didn't even set it anymore. This is uh, my fault. I'm sorry. So we're going to have to set this uh, somehow in uh, here. So we're going to do is this is logged in equals to true. So the user is actually uh, logged in once we have a successful response from the server. Go back to the nav. HTML and add uh, another. Actually, we can add uh, a Lee. Hell, uh, not a Lee. I'm sorry. A uh, span. We're gonna s s write uh, logout and attach a V show uh, to the variable is logged in. Go on the script.js, make sure this matches. I have uh, I have to make this camel case, so this way. And refresh the server and see what happens. We shouldn't be able to see the is logged in uh, page uh, link initially. And indeed I cannot see it. What if I log in? admin admin password submit welcome back admin and we have the logout okay so this should this is working just fine um okay we're gonna have to make this link and do a on click trigger so when this is clicked we're gonna send a post request that is actually going to uh, log us out. So if we check out the Vue.js on click, we should be able to check the syntax. Uh, we have v, v on click counter plus equals one in this example, but we can also uh, call a simple function that is described, that is defined in the methods. So we're gonna do that fairly easily. Uh, declare uh, methods and open it up um, and we're gonna call this logout and we're gonna do a get request so axios get um, to the endpoint that we created before which is logout I think 
Let me see, where is it? Yeah, logouts. I don't know why with the S. I didn't mean to, so I'm going to remove this. Um, go back to nav. No, I'm, not, I'm sorry. Uh, not to nav, but on the script.js. And logout. Axios get logout. And we have to pass the axis, uh, the, the token, if I'm not mistaken. So let me check this out real quick. Uh, yeah, it is expecting an access token. So just attach it as we always did. Access token equals to get cookie access token. There we go. And we should be all set. Once we have done this, we can remove the log out um with the we can set as logged in to false once again so once this get request is done we're gonna set this is logged in equals to false and also the logged uh, this is logged uh, I'm sorry, logged in message equals to an empty message. And there we go, we should be all set. Uh, only thing we have to do is call this function right now. So go on the nav HTML and set a V on click. Maybe this is, uh, let me just check real quick. Uh, yeah, it's like so be on click and specify log out and we should be all set maybe we can call it this like a ref or something like that for now we're just gonna make it bold so b and maybe give it a color of blue yeah we're gonna fix this later so uh, we can restart the server and see if it works. Just one thing, I actually noticed that uh, I called this logout because I already had an endpoint which pointed to logout. So I uh, changed this back again to logouts and the same thing goes in the, uh, in the request. So make sure that it matches. We can refresh the server and try this out together. So we're gonna refresh this page, go on the login, admin and admin password, and submit, and we have welcome back admin. Uh, if we press logout once again, the message disappears, we have nothing more. We can refresh the page, and indeed we get our 401 error because it's trying to access with the old access token which we should have deleted and we will do this right now so in the response in a function that goes after the logout uh, get request we are going to delete cookie access token and maybe this we can change to successfully logged out there we go so it's just uh, a little clearer. Gonna refresh the server once again, try this one more time and see how it goes. Refresh this page, log in, admin, admin password, submit, welcome back admin. We're gonna select log out and we have successfully logged out. If we go back on the home, nothing appears anymore. So this first problem is solved. In the next video, we are going to try and make sure that uh, we're going to fix this little problem right here, uh, which is fairly simple. It's just uh, not is a message that says you're already logged in. Do you want to log out? So it's pretty much the same. And yeah, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.